in my teens, my father was very interested in aviation. His name was um, Edward Rudolph. He was um, a tailor. He, he was in business for himself. We used to go out to the airport, which at that time was, you know, just a big field. And of course, it was just no no runways, you know. And you could take off at any time. You didn't need a, a flight record or anything like that. And they didn't take you up for $5. But we just went almost every weekend in the summer. It was just an interesting place to go on Sunday afternoons. I think I had um, just graduated from uh, high school. It was just, it just seemed like it would be a fun thing to do. And because of my father was so interested, to me, it built up my interest. But the first time I went out, uh, to uh, the school that was the Universal Aviation School at the airport. He refused to uh, give me a contract because I was a woman. And I don't know why I went back, but I did, and then they did accept me as a student. At that time, I was the only woman taking lessons. I think I was very good at takeoffs and landings because I made so many of them. <laughs> that was the, the main thing I did. But it probably took me a little bit longer to actually solo, and that was exciting, of course. I was flying with the instructor. We landed and got out of the, the plane, and he said, you can take it up. And, I, you know, I, I was surprised. You know. I did go around the field and landed, and the instructor was standing there waiting at me, and I thought he was, um, you know, complimenting me because I, I made the uh, flight and landed uh, very well. It felt so good. I went around again, and when I landed, he said, I, I was signaling you that the, the wind had changed and you were, you were landing in the wrong direction. But I didn't get the signal. <laughs> and, of course, they didn't have, you know, we, we didn't have any instruments. There. Just, um, oh, it said we, were, we had turn and bank and uh, gas gauge, and that was about it. And, of course, my dad was excited because I actually soloed. I made an altitude record. In fact, it was, a, it was kind of a mystery to me because it's a very, a very small plane, but it had the motor in back of me. It was fun to fly. But they, they quit making that plane because, um, you know, it was dangerous having the motor because in a, in a crash, it could land right on top of it. But they decided that they, they wanted to see how high it could go. But they, they didn't tell me. They just asked me if I, I do a fly the plane because I was a woman. And um, after we got up, we took turns, but I took off and landed. I, it took several hours, but it was a beautiful day. The weather was good. Oh, and cold, very cold. But I didn't know it, was, it would be a record. They, um, and, and so it was a big surprise to me when I turned up in the... New York Times. I I had my private uh, uh, license, I think, when I was 19. But then when I got the semi-commercial, I um, I had to turn in. And I did, I got my license 
But then I couldn't keep it up. I mean, I had the crazy idea with my own plane that maybe I could make some money doing things. <laughs> and, um, and I found out that was impossible. I thought maybe I could keep up my private license because you didn't have to fly as many hours. So I was sorry I did it because I turned in my commercial license to get my private license back. Well, I, I wish I had kept that license because then I had to quit because it was um, depression times to begin with. And, um, and then I, I, I got married and moved to Florida. Miami was a really sad place in the Depression. The banks had closed and the tourists didn't come. I mean, it, was, it was really bad. So that was the end of my flying.